Hi everyone, this is Javin. So today, the day has finally arrived for our 10 gig network card that will be upgraded to this thing so that it will be able to operate at 10 gigabit. So let's open this up. And so this is the official expansion card for the NAS. Uh, unlike the one that we tested with the ASUS one, uh, it didn't work but uh, so we're going to try this card, this 10 gig card and see if it works with our system and then uh, once everything is up and running then we can finally do the migration to the new and migrate all the hard drive to the new uh, 1821 plus NAS Alright, so the card is installed and so now after plugging in, now you can see there's a new uh, LAN 5 connection down here and so we are going to now right now it's still plugged to LAN 1, the first LAN port so now what we're going to do is going to uh, plug it to LAN 5 and just see whether it recognizes the 10 gig network Alright, so now the 10 gig network port is connected and now let's go over to the network switch and yes indeed now the light is blue so uh, so now definitely we can confirm that at least now the 10 gig card is working but obviously now that we have only one single hard drive in the bay as a test so obviously a single hard drive is not really enough to push the 10 gig networking speed so right now the next our next step is to actually migrate over our drives from the old NAS into this one and now and and after that we're going to test uh, read and write speeds over the network and so there it is we have successfully migrated all the drives from the old NAS into this one as you can see it's only four four out of the eight bays are populated and because I because of the width of the NAS I can actually I realized that now I can actually do a more a stack configuration to all my networking gear which is a little more neat than what it used to be alright so now we're gonna do some uh, file copying tests so we're just gonna do a sample file and copy over to the server and look at that we are copying around almost oh, 400 megabytes per second 400, 500, close to 500 megabytes per second and now let's look at the network of the actual server itself on the NAS uh, it's also going up at 400 it's speeds that I've never ever thought we'd be able to see uh, anyway, uh, for your information, uh, this, Mac, what, this M1 Mac Mini is, uh, is uh, using 10 gigabit network and it's also this is an internal SSD of it so definitely this kind of speed uh, is definitely expected so it, given it's an SSD, it will really push the limit of 10 gigabit and this is really fast and I think uh, this should be more than enough bandwidth for what we need for now. Uh, so right now this is the only system that uh, is actually natively 10 gigabit and the switch can actually support uh, at most two devices that's 10 gigabit. One is the Mac mini and the other is the actual NAS itself. So yeah everyone else will uh, still get one gigabit but uh, at least uh, the bandwidth will not be uh, compressed to just uh, you know just 2 gigabit which we had before which is 2 gigabit shared across all the 10 devices of the switch now at least uh, we got full 10 gigabit so uh, each of them can uh, basically uh, you, the, the bottleneck will be reduced okay so now that we actually finally upgraded to our permanent 10 gig ne network storage server um, we have some actual work to do right now so uh, we're going to leave it here for this episode of how to build a post-production house so if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully we'll catch you in the next episode.